You're watching Analytics in Minutes, where we teach people how to build Data Studio dashboards. Today, we're going over the keyword analysis page on our SEO report. This breaks out your search queries by short tail and long tail keywords. Short tail keywords use one to two words and are very generic queries. Long tail keywords, depending on your brand, can use upwards to five words, usually posed as a question or a very specific product that the user is looking for. Here's how to do it. Short tail and long tail keywords are SEO industry terms. So we need to tell Data Studio what we consider to be or what those two terms are defined by. To do this, we will create a new field using a case formula. If you've been building an SEO dashboard along with us, you will need to add a third page to your report. Copy and paste your date range and data source controls. Select Add a Chart from the top navigation and Add a Table. Data Source will be your Search Console site impressions um, for whichever account you're working on. On the far right hand navigation, scroll to the bottom and click Add a Field. Field name is for internal use, so you can name this whatever you would like. This formula field is where you're going to format um, what's determined to be long tail versus short tail. The formula is case when query length is greater than, for this particular account we determined that longer than four words was a long tail. Else short tail and once you get a green arrow check down here um, that means your formula syntax is valid so you can go ahead and click save done now we can add our dimension to be that new field that we just created and the metrics we want to stay consistent for our viewers so we're going to add queries impressions, clicks, click through rate, and position or average rank. We will sort by clicks and make sure that our default date range is set to auto. Let's view and make sure that that's functioning as expected. Great. And that is how to display short tail versus long tail keywords in Data Studio.